Hello everybody, Sigark here, back with another educational video for The Infected. And in this video I'm going to be showing you the best way to start the game by giving you a tutorial for the first two to three days of gameplay. By the end of the first few days you will be self-sustaining with food and water and you also have proper base defenses to fight off the Vambi hordes. The built-in tutorial for this game is very helpful but it does leave out a lot of details that will have you scratching your head. I will fill in those gaps as well as give you many helpful hints for progressing in this game. So to start off, the game does give you a few tutorial tasks here. Pretty good uh, way to start off. Um, also if you hover over, it does give you a little bit of description. So I'm going to start off by following that. So we got small stone, pick up a few of them, and sticks as well. So if you press M and look at your map, you're always going to start in this section and you'll have a town over here to your west and you'll see these little pickaxes here that indicates the mineral extraction sites as well. I'll get into those later. But where we are right now, we have a body of water as well. What I'm going to recommend doing for your first uh, playthrough is building your base right here. So right up against the water, that's going to give you a water source, but also give you a food source here with some fish. The fish will give you uh, some proteins and some fats. And then um, I'm going to show you how to get some crops growing as well. So once you get this base going, you'll have access to uh, plenty of food and water. And then I'm going to show you how to protect that base as well with wood spikes. So let's get started here. So got a stick, got a stone, and then it wants us to craft the stone axe. So you're going to press I, and it's going to bring up a whole bunch of menus up here. You're going to want to go over to the crafting table here, drag a stone over, drag a stick over, and you have your stone axe. It's not going to automatically equip it, but if you press 1, it'll show up there. So now we can start uh, chopping down trees. Let's start doing that. So these small trees, like this one here, takes four hits to chop it down, and it's going to give you three wooden logs each time you do that. The next thing it wants us to craft is a stone pickaxe. That's going to allow us to um, mine these bigger stones like this. That just saves you the time of running around uh, picking up these small stones. So let me do that. So stone blade. So if you press I again, Go to the two books here, that's the Itemopedia. You're going to be using that a lot. You're going to want to go to here, weapons, and then stone blade. So to craft that, you'll just need one small stone. And then ultimately, we're going to craft the stone pickaxe, which is going to use that stone blade, one stick, and then two plant fibers. So I have plant fibers from cutting down that tree, as well as some bark chips and I have two small stones. So we're also gonna need some more sticks. So you can run around and grab sticks just like you do the stones, but if you actually go over to the logs here, you can pick them up by pressing E, right click will drop them. And then if you hold down right click on your mouse, you'll get a few more options, harvest and destroy. So we're gonna click harvest, and that's gonna give you four pieces of firewood as well as five sticks. So I'm gonna pick up the sticks for right now and um, may as well pick up the firewood too. Once you harvest something like that, the firewood and the sticks will despawn after a few minutes. The logs will stay there uh, pretty much forever. I haven't seen them despawn yet. So you can pretty much leave them right there for now. Don't worry about them disappearing. So I'm going to go to my Edmopedia weapons. So one stick, one stone blade, two plant fibers. The game doesn't really tell you what the recipes are once you go to the crafting menu here. So you'll kind of have to make a mental note of them. So one stick, one stone blade, two plant fibers, and then kind of run over to here and try to remember what it, it was telling you. Let me actually drop these firewoods. So we're going to do another stone blade. And then with that stone blade, we're going to throw that in there get the stick and then two plant fibers. So now we have our second 
usable item, the stone pickaxe. So there we go. That'll auto equip to hotkey two. And you can switch back and forth by pressing one and two with that. So we're already almost halfway done with the tutorial tasks. The next thing it wants us to do is build a saw bench. So go back, press I, Itemopedia, Placeables, and then you'll see the saw bench will be the first thing, and that requires four wooden logs. And I'm going to build that right here because I want to build my base here. Not a huge deal where you place it. Also want to keep it somewhere near the trees as well. So I'm going to build it right here. So we have our first saw bench built. So what you want to do is just walk up to it, press E, and that'll place a log on the saw bench, and you hear a little sawing noise. So after about 10 seconds or so, it'll turn that one log into two wood planks. And um, I'm going to keep them there for now. They're not going to despawn. They'll stay there. Um, keep in mind, whenever you place an item like this, you can always go up to it, press N, and then move it around. Don't get too hung up on where you place this. It's easily movable. Okay. What I'm actually going to do is build a second saw bench as well. Uh, just because you, you can only throw it down one there at a time, and you're going to need a ton of planks for the uh, base we're about to build. So, chopped out a bunch of trees here. Also, if you look on the bottom right, you have your sun resistance. So when you're cutting down trees, try to stay in the shade of the tree. See how it's going up now? Here on the other side, it'll either stay the same or it'll, you'll see it decrease. So try to stay in the shade. So we got three. So I'm going to throw one more in there. So, we have these small trees that gives you three wooden logs. They also have these a little bit bigger ones. So, those take seven hits and they give you eight logs. So, they're a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker than chopping down the small ones, but you'll be mostly sticking to the small ones because those are nearby. But what I would suggest doing is just clear out the ones that are closest to you. Okay. And at this point in the game, you, you basically want to get as many planks as you go. And so whenever you're running past here, just throw out whatever logs you have onto the saw benches. Just like that. Okay, so the next thing it suggests doing is build a foundation, which is not a bad idea. And what I'm going to suggest doing is building your base as close to the water as possible. And then we're going to build a nice little uh, wall around it to protect it. So I think I'm going to make it I think right about here. So we're going to press I again. And then it auto-selects construction. So the wooden, each wooden foundation takes four logs and six planks. You can also hold down... X and use your mouse wheel to change the elevation of it. I'm going to keep it just about that height there. And then we'll have to build uh, some stairs going up to it, but that's a good height, I think. I like to build it just high enough so that uh, the Vambies can't run up and hit the wooden wall surrounding it. They'll have to hit the foundation first, and we're going to have some wooden spikes protecting this as well. So I'm going to make this right about here and then for a starter base I usually recommend making it three by two as far as the foundations go so here put one there and then we're gonna have two more here good so that's a good starting point so it's three wide two deep that way but you can you can make it facing any way you like this is just a good size that'll kind of fit all the um, stations that you need in there without making it too big, and you can always add on to it later on. So now what we need is just basically a ton of planks and a bunch of wood logs as well. So 
I'm gonna get going with that. As you're building your initial foundations too, you wanna keep an eye on your, your stats. So if you press F, hold it down, you'll have your thirst. That'll probably be the first thing that's gotta go down. So if you press I and go to the little cooking pot up here, you'll have um, some clean water and some uh, five beef stew as well. So if you hold down, right click, you'll be able to drink that water the game gives you starting off and that'll fill you up. That'll hold you over in the meantime. Okay, so I got my six foundations built. And I'm gonna build a little wooden ramp to get up there. So that's right next to the foundations, wooden ramp. And then just find a nice place for it. I'm gonna put mine right here. Press E. And that's gonna take three logs, four planks. All right, so there we go. So now we have a nice ramp leading up to the foundations here. Next order of business is gonna be making the walls and then the roof to this place. I think what I might do before that, since I am probably gonna be thirsty soon, I'm gonna make a little campfire and I'm gonna show you how to get clean water. So under placeables, food, you have the campfire. So and this is another one of the things, you can always move this later on. I like to keep it right next to the the door here because what you're going to end up doing is running down filling up your flask with water and then running up here to uh, to clean the water so so for this we need 10 stone 8 firewood so I'm going to do the little trick I showed you before harvest this wood log that's gonna give me four firewood. And then I'm gonna need some small stone as well. So when you chop down these big rocks, it's gonna give you approximately 15 small stones and then one piece of copper ore. So you wanna pick all these up. Just kinda of spam E as you walk around. And if you pick up too many, you'll see in the bottom right, I'm walking, this is my fastest walking speed because I'm a little bit over encumbered. So I'm gonna drop a few of these stones for now. So now I'm at 49.4 out of 50, and I can walk normally again. So I'm gonna throw these right in here. Oh, need one more. Good, so now I have the campfire built. So when you press E next to it, you have a few different options. The first thing I want to do is get it lit. So I actually have a piece of firewood here. I'm going to throw that right in the center. It'll turn green, let go, and you'll see it'll that fills up approximately a quarter with this circle here, and that'll go all the way around. So it can hold up to four pieces of firewood. And then I'm going to grab my lighter over here. And that all that would usually light the fire, but unfortunately it started raining. So I'm gonna have to actually get my uh, my roof going here. Once I have that covered, I'll be able to light that fire. So the next part is up to you. You can either build a wooden wall or a wooden window frame. I like the window frame just because it gives you a nice little peek outside of your base. Uh, but if you don't like that, you can just build a wooden wall. It's the same amount to build either one. I'm gonna place that right here. And then once I build that, I'm going to put the ceiling right above it, and that'll allow me to light the fire. Okay, so we got the, the first frame built there, and now I'm going to throw up the roof. So we have a wooden ceiling. Press E, and then I'll lock that in. So I need three more wood logs and a few more planks for that. Planks I've been making, so I've got a few on deck here. Good, so now we got the fire lit. We got it covered up top so the rain's not gonna put it out. And thirst is getting a little low like I thought. So what I'm gonna do is run over to the water here, press I, 
and then we're going to take our flask and we're going to drag it over to where it says add water and that will fill it up with dirty water. You don't want to drink that unless you absolutely have to uh, because that's going to lower your energy stat. So what we'll do is we'll come back over here, press E, and we're going to drag that into here where it says dirty water 0 out of 200 and you'll see it now it's filled up and this little this little circle is going to fill up here and once that's done you'll be able to collect the clean water. Okay, so now clean water, there's 60. You'll be able to drag the flask back over. And now we have a full flask of clean water. So I'm going to hold on to that for now. Don't need it at this very second. At this point in the game, you might be getting a little bit full on your inventory. So what I usually do is build a storage chest. And then we'll also want to build a bed as well. So let's see what we got here. So placeables, storage, storage chest. Right about there, that's fine. And then... Under furniture, you have your bed. So as you saw, both of these take six planks and eight planks. So that's why I suggest building the double saw bench. Just going to make everything a lot more streamlined. So it's about nine, it's getting a little dark, so I'm gonna chop down a few trees and get this base mostly done before it gets too dark. Okay, so I have my storage chest built. Press E, and then I have all this extra space. So I can offload some of this stuff that I'm not using right now. One very good tip that the game doesn't show you. If you want to move stuff back and forth, you can obviously drag it. But the quick way to do it, hold down the Alt key and then right click and then I'll move everything over automatically. So I'll do that with both of these and pretty much everything that I have here actually. Even these uh, sticks, I don't need these right now. The planks, I'm going to keep those for now. And it is pretty dark but that's okay I still have some energy left so I'm gonna try to get this bed built and as well as get the uh, the roof going a little bit more now too Right here, I'm going to put the wooden door frame, and then eventually once that's built, I'm going to put a, a door there too. And at this point, basically just chopping down a bunch of trees uh, just to get your basic defenses going. It says in here you want to find carbs and find proteins and all that kind of stuff. We'll do that soon. I'd recommend getting the base built first, and we'll also want to get our uh, forge built as well. So for the stone forge, it's going to be under placeable and then others. And I'll put that yeah, right about there is fine. Okay, so once you get the bed built, if you're getting too low on energy, you can sleep, but I'd recommend for the first night, build as much as you can until you're out of energy, and then you'll want to sleep the rest of it. When you sleep in this game, it's going to restore your energy as well as your health. You shouldn't have taken too much damage in the first day, I mean, um, unless you're fighting with uh, animals. So you shouldn't have to worry about your health, but you'll definitely want to restore your energy. If you need some food, just go to the beef stew that the game gives you and just eat one of those and that'll refill pretty much all your stats except for energy. Actually it does uh, does give you 25 energy as well so I, I don't know how I'm gonna, I might sleep for a few hours but I'm gonna try to get as much done without sleeping.
when you're picking up stones like that off the ground, you also want to keep an eye on the bottom right of your item weight. So I'm at 45 out of 50, so once you get past the 50, it's going to slow you down. Then you, you'll have to drop the stuff. So I just got some stones. I'm going to throw that in the stone forge here. So one more rock here, and I'll be able to make the forge. So I just built I just built my first stone forge. So if I press E on that, similar to the campfire, you can drag in fuel source in the bottom, and then you have two slots to melt things down with. So at first you'll want to be melted down small stones. So you can press Alt right click to and insert those there. And then uh, let me grab some firewood to light this thing up. You do have these small stump type things. If you hit those, you can get some firewood out of them. It takes a little bit longer than just chopping down a tree and harvesting it though to be honest okay so i'm going to drag some firewood in there light it up and then you'll see the circle start to fill up over here. So that's gonna melt down each small stone will give you one iron fragment. Five iron fragments will give you one iron ingot. And the iron ingot is the last little step here. So it does take some time as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is actually build a second forge here. That way we'll have two forges going, and then we'll have our planks going over here, and that's going to be very efficient, very fast. Because we are going to need a ton of planks for this. And again, just keep your inventory fairly clear. So whenever you run back to your base, just throw any kind of stuff you're not using in your storage box here. And you can always build the second one if you need to. So the first stones are almost done. And as you see, it gives me two iron fragments there. So I'll right click, those will put them in your inventory. And you want to keep them in your storage for the time being. Also, if you're trying to work through the night like I am, and you're having trouble seeing, you can craft a torch. Just want to go up to the crafting menu here. One stick, five plant fibers. Then you'll have a torch. That is, it doesn't seem to run out. You can pretty much let it burn forever. So that'll help you as you're navigating, and it'll help you as you're trying to pick up things off the ground, like stones and such. So once you start burning down the small stones, and you have five iron fragments, you can drag that in here, and that'll eventually get you one iron ingot, which is, the iron ingot is the basic building block for this game. You'll need a ton of those, especially early game, and from there on out. Okay, so it's about 3 a.m. right now, and it is pitch black. I think what I might do is sleep for a few hours, maybe until about 6, when the sun starts rising, and then I'll have a lot more energy for tomorrow.